All right, I want to share a hashtag love wins story that's being shared all over Facebook. Last Monday, a small mosque in Pflugerville, Texas, it was vandalized. The entrance was blocked with pieces of torn up Quran and smeared feces. Police classified this as a hate crime, but the community of Pflugerville came together. Pflugerville supports our Muslim neighbors event, was organized on Facebook for this past Saturday. They had expected 70 people or so to show up. Instead, about two hundred people attended the event showing the Muslim community they are warmly welcomed. What one little boy did is what's making headlines. You see the seven-year-old uh, little boy emptied everything in his piggy bank which was twenty dollars and he donated it to the mosque. His act of kindness was picked up by BuzzFeed and has since gone viral. Joining us now via Skype is that little boy Jack Swanson and his mom Laura and Arslan Iftikhar, senior editor for the Islamic Monthly. Thank you guys all for joining us. Laura, I want to start with you. You had a conversation with Jack about what happened. What did you say to him? Um, when I picked him up from school, um, he got into the car and, you know, we did our usual, how are you? And I said, oh, something really awful happened today. Um, I said, one of the, one of the churches in our town, I said, somebody was really mean. I said, you remember how we talked about Paris this weekend? I said, well, some, mean people in our town decided to go and smear poop on their church and tear up their version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. I said, isn't that awful? And he said, oh, mom, that's horrible. And, you know, you, you, um, you tell them in the way that they can understand, but, but he felt as bad about it as I did, I think. And yeah, yeah. It, it seems <laughs> like it. Jack, why'd you give all your money to the people at the mosque? Because I'm on to help and people are people and they should always be treated the same way to each and every one. Wow, Jack, you're a very smart little boy for not having many years under your belt. I have to say that I wish a lot of other people out in the world thought the way that you did. Arslan, you're with us because you returned Jack's kindness with a gift. What was that gift and why'd you do it? Uh, well, you know, Yasmin, uh, I, I, I saw the, the video of, of Jack's uh, kind donation and, and it literally brought tears to my eyes. I was kind of like, I'm not crying, you're crying. And uh, so I reached out to my 80,000 uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter followers and I said you know can somebody get me in touch with this family and I got in touch with Laura and she and I started talking and, and she told me that you know he had been saving up uh, you know twenty dollars doing fifty cent a chore uh, things for several months trying to save up for an Apple iPad uh, so he could film his Lego creations and so I was like that's done <laughs> and so uh, I, I sent him an Apple iPad on behalf of the American Muslim community not only uh, you know so he uh, you know could uh, you know d fulfill his creative vision, but also to show that no good, good deed goes unrewarded. I think in America today, you know, we, we have to stand up for one another as allies and that, you know, an attack on any house of worship is an attack on all houses of worship. And so whether it's a church, synagogue, mosque, uh, Hindu temple, uh, uh, Sikh Gurdwara, Buddhist temple, you know, we all have to stand up for one another. And Jack is literally the coolest seven-year-old kid that I've ever known in my life. Yeah, so I thank think you, I, Jack. I think I can agree with you on that, Arslan. Uh, Jack, how'd you feel when you got that iPad? I felt super, super excited when I got it because I've been saving up for it for about a year. Wow. You were saving up for a, for a year, but you still gave your money to that mosque. That is so incredible. Mom, I want to ask you one last question. What is your message to people who, who don't necessarily have an understanding of Islam in this country and around the world? Well, I think that no matter what your faith or your moral background, that the best tool that you have is your testimony. If you want people to hear what you have to say, be the kind of person that other people want to listen to. Be kind, be patient. Um, and if you have a, a doubt as to what you need to do, ask a child because they generally, they generally lead with their heart. So, I mean, they yeah. won't steer you wrong. Yeah, and, and they're always very honest. Jack, thanks you for being such an amazing little boy. Laura, thank you for being what seems to be an amazing Mother and Arslan, thanks for being a voice of a community that does sometimes does not have it.